live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2018. Brought to you by Informatica. Hi, I'm Peter Burris. Welcome back to day two coverage on theCUBE of Informatica World 2018. We're broadcasting from the Venetian here in beautiful Las Vegas. Certainly a lot of excitement, a lot of the buzz. Just heard the general session empty. Probably a thousand people in the room looking at various booths, excited to be here. This morning, we're being joined by my co-host, Jim Kabilis. Jim is a lead analyst at Wikibon Silicon Angle, looking at a lot of the data and data practice issues. And our first guest is Juan Teo. Juan is a principal at, of data management and architecture at Deloitte. Right. Juan, welcome to theCUBE. Great, thank you guys. Thank you guys for having me. So let's kick it off. What do you do at Deloitte? What's interesting? What are customers talking about? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I think you know, we are absolutely at the, what I would call inflection point around the importance of data. And so my role at Deloitte is to lead our data management and architecture practice, which essentially deals with everything from data strategy to data execution and how we enable all their transformational initiatives, right, to truly take advantage of the power that data has to unlock you know, better business processes, to unlock better insights, right, to take better actions, right? I mean, everything that we've been historically talking about, right, in terms of what can organizations do uh, around their data asset, uh, my job is to ensure that we are leading, guiding, driving, and developing these solutions for our clients. So here's a simple question, just kind of kick it off and see where it goes. We think that data is becoming more important. You think that data is becoming more important. Yeah. Are you finding yourself still talking to people that are data administrators, or are you finding yourselves being pulled into higher level conversations within the business yeah. to talk about data asset, data asset formation, yeah. data asset returns? How's that changing? So I would say it's evolving, right? I mean, if I, and so I have the privilege of, of running our practice nationally, right? So I, I have the privilege of looking at all the various industries and sectors, right? And so I think, you know, if you take the financial services, uh, life science, healthcare industries, right? Where there's a lot more regulatory demand on data, ensuring that you know what it is, where it's coming from, it's got the right, you know, data standards and qualities. I would say they, they've gotten it long ago, right? And they've put in place you know, data management organizations. We hear the chief data officer, right? I would say those industries and sectors are a lot more prominent. Uh, and so the, the conversation is absolutely at the executive level, right? There is an executive owner that's responsible for ensuring that the data is correct. Tell us about the changing data landscape, Juan. Um, why do enterprises need to change their data strategy and architecture? What are you, what are you hearing from, from clients? Uh, I mean, what are you I, telling them? Yeah, I think it's quite simple, right? It is to absolutely enable their business strategy, right? You can no longer enable your business strategy without the, without the data dimension, right? I mean, for many, many years we've talked about, you know, people process technology, right? Well, now there's a fourth dimension, right? People process technology and data. Um, and, and that's how we like to think about it, is that important, right? You need that executive, and I'll use two words very, very distinctly, right? You don't need a, an executive data sponsor, you need an executive data owner, mm. right? And, and that's the transformation, right, and the evolution that we're seeing in the market and that we're actually advocating for, right? To truly unlock that business you know, strategy, that business outcome that they're looking for. So let's talk about, if we're going to do that, then we need tools to do it. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> we're, we're talking about data, we're talking about data owners, we're talking about practices to actually create, generate value out of data. That's not something we're going to do manually. That's right. So talk about some of the tools, generally, yep. that your clients are starting to apply to improve their productivity at doing these things. Yeah, I mean, I would say there's a sort of standard spectrum of data management tools, right, from you know, the database to master data management to quality to metadata management, right, and so each of these technical capabilities and tools, right, provide the capabilities required to, to manage that sort of data supply chain, right? There is infinite sources of data and there's infinite sources of demand, right, and it is the responsibility of, you know, the data management organization to, to manage that supply chain and obviously you need tools 
and you need technology to sort of support that entire life cycle. Juan, what is the one thing that you tell clients that they need to do with their data in order to stay competitive? Is there one imperative thing that they all need to do with their data to, to stay in the thick of whatever it is they yep. do in their industry? Yep. Yeah, so the one thing I always advise our clients is all data is not created equal. Right, so find and identify the data that truly drives value for your organization, right? Because that's been, I would say, one of the biggest challenges in this space, right, is everyone's drowning in data, right? And so to bring all these capabilities for your entire, you know, sort of landscape in your organization, it's massive, right? It's just too big, yeah. right? So tie value and outcomes to the data that matters, right? So I'll give you an example, right? So in, in retail, Right, I mean, their, their value is around knowing their customers and the products that they sell to those customers, right? So let's start double clicking underneath that and figuring out and ensuring that that data, right, has all the right standards, is up to quality so it can meet those business strategies, right? Don't go after everything, right? Map business outcome and value to the data that supports that. What's the role of the chief data officer and the other C-level executives in driving that sort of transformation? Yeah. And how is their role changing? So I would say the, the, the chief data officer role is, is again evolving and still maturing. Not everyone has it. Uh, but I do see them as the, one of the next executive C-level roles that will truly be a catalyst for change and innovation, right? Um, where you know, I think we traditionally think about the CTO or the CIO or the chief strategy officer, right? Sort of back to the, there's now four dimensions, it's no longer three. Um, their ability to understand the business strategy, understand where their data is to support that and bring new innovative ways to enable that, right? So it's absolutely critical. So what we think ultimately, I want to test this on you, yeah. is that a chief is, a, is an executive that's responsible for demonstrating that they're generating return on shareholder capital. Exactly. And a chief data officer, therefore, would be the individual that's demonstrating that they're generating return on a company's data assets. Yes. When you take an asset approach, you can think about portfolio. When you think about portfolio, now you're discriminating which value is most valuable, which data is less valuable. Right. If, that's, if you agree, that suggests that there is a new class of tool that has to be bought in around this notion of portfolio. Catalogs, meta, uh, master data management. Yep. Give us a sense of that kind of new toolkit that's going to be at the core of not just managing data inside an application like a DBMS, right. but something that's actually managing data assets. Right. Yeah, I think it's the, it's the entire ecosystem of how we bring it together and how we, pre, we create what I would say is products and services around data, right? So back to this construct of you're managing the data supply chain. Right, and so the responsibility of the CDO and how you measure and manage that to you know, outcomes, right, and, and, and shareholder value, is I've just created a product around this data. And, and we talk a lot about data monetization, um, and I would say it's from a outside-in perspective. Am I selling my data, am I making money? Right, well, and, and of course that's one angle, uh, but I would say there's also the inside out view where you're monetizing to create value back to your organization, right? So increase you know, customer uh, sales, right? Uh, reduce churn, right? All those things matter. And so tying data products to those business outcomes is I think how you get to you know, the return on investment, shareholder value as it relates to this role and the products and services that it's creating. All right, we're out of time. Uh, Juan Teo, uh, yes. principal. Data architecture and data management and architecture. Management and architecture. Sorry, right. at Deloitte. Yes. Thank you very much for being on the cube. Great, right. thank you. Thank you. It was All a right, so we'll be uh, right back with another event or another uh, segment from Informatic World 2018 here in Las Vegas.